Today we're talking about the symbol of two stroke in math. What's the meaning of that? Okay, so most people will see, oh, this is absolute values of A. But some people might say, oh, this is the modulus of complex numbers. Or some people might say this is the magnitude of a vector. So what is the true meaning of the two, two stroke in mass? So it depends on the A representing uh, numbers or representing a vectors or representing a uh, complex numbers. So if A representing a numbers, so then this stroke is called absolute values of A. And then what is the real meaning of absolute value of A? It means a number on the number line let's say a is here and is how far away from the origin the distance to the origin but of course we know that distance is a so therefore absolute value of a should be equals to a but of course if the A is on the other side of the number line, for example, A is um, here, then what is the distance from that number to the origin? Would be a negative A. Why is negative A? Because A itself is negative. For example, if A is equals to negative 2, then the distance to the origin would be negative A, which is equal to 2. So obviously, we can see the distance is equal to 2. So then, therefore, the absolute value of the A in here would be equal to negative A. So then you will see, oh, why sometimes A, sometimes negative A, it's really determined by whether A is on the right-hand side of origin, which means if the A is positive numbers, or if the A is on the left-hand side of origin, which is A is less than zero, negative numbers, then the absolute value will be negative A. But the negative A still is a positive number, as we can see here. Negative A is positive 2. So this is the meaning of absolute value of A when the A is a number, which is on the number line. And of course, when the A equals to 0, then the absolute value of A, which is the distance from origin to the origin, of course, it will be 0 distance. So that's the first meaning of absolute value of A. Then the second meaning, if we still have the two stroke, but with an inside number is this time is not a number, is a vector. Then what is the meaning of that? That means is the magnitude of a vector A. So we call the magnitude of a vector A. And what's the true meaning of the vector A is when we have our vectors, it means we have vector A in here. That's a vector A. So we are finding the magnitude, which is the distance for this vector to the origin. What's the distance here? So if that A is xi plus yj in component form, then the distance of the vector OA, we're using that, means the magnitude. 
will be equals to square root of x squared plus y squared. So that time, we're still talking about for this vector, which is here is x and y. So that point, how far away from the origin? So compared to the number here, we see how far away from origin is still that point, how far away from origin. That point, how far away from origin. So now become vectors here, still how far away from origin is called magnitude. So we just call differently magnitude of our vector A. Or here we call the absolute values of A. And then the true meaning of both of these are the distance from the origin. And then if that A is representing a complex numbers, and then let's see what's the meaning of that. So you have that. So this time I'm using Z. So usually Z is representing a complex numbers. So then, what do we call this two stroke? We call the modulus of Z. Then what's the meaning of modulus of Z? So if Z is equals to X plus IY, and then on the argon diagram, so these representing are imaginary numbers, and these representing a real number here. So complex number, for x and y, that complex number, that's z. And then the distance from that complex number to the origin here, that distance is called modulus of z. And then how do we find the modulus of z? will be equals to the distance we can see easily is x squared plus y squared Pythagorean theorem. Means we know this is y and this is x. So again, it's the distance to the origin. So over all these three different numbers, one is the number, one is the vectors, one is the complex numbers. And then we all talking about it's a distance to the origin. So this is why we're using the same symbol as the two stroke. So really that I mean same meaning, which is the distance. With the vectors in 2D vectors, we did it in here. So what if it's a 3D vectors? For example, the vector is in 3D, if you will have a vector A is uh, 3i plus 4j plus 12k. And then, what is the magnitude of A? We can see if I draw up. These are the y-axis, x-axis, and the z-axis. So if this is 3, and this is 4, and then we'll make this is 12. So where is the magnitude of that vectors? Let's see. So we will have... So this is a point representing these vectors. And then the magnitude of that number would be this one. So this is origin. This is the vectors here. So then how do we find that distance? So we can use in Pythagoras again. With 3 and the 4, we can find in that distance. So this distance with this is 90 degree here. So three here and the four here gives us this is 
five. And then with this five, and we can say this is 90 degree here. So we can use in five and the 12, then you can find that distance. So in the end, we can have the magnitude of that is square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is that square, 25. And that square plus 12 square, which gives you this square and we square root. So in the end, we can get the distance for that is 30. So this is the meaning of the two stroke in mass. Could be magnitude, could be modulus, could be absolute. If you found this video useful, subscribe and leave a like. And let me know what other things you like to watch me explain.